welcome to the very first episode of Desert Island Flicks with Pearl and Dean. On this show, we'll be in conversation with key figures within the media industry, finding out which films they would take with them to a desert island. I'm Catherine Ferguson. And I'm John Ridley. And I'm delighted that our first guest is the chairwoman of Mediacom UK and the UK country manager for WPP. Indeed, week uh, 11. <laughs> Karen Blackett OBE. Welcome, Karen. Thank you very much. Um, so we're going to ask you to cast your mind back to your childhood for your mm -hmm. first... Uh, long time ago. Long time ago, <laughs> yeah. for your first Desert Island flick, mm -hmm. and ask us to talk about your uh, favourite childhood film. So my favourite childhood film, uh, and it's probably when I was slightly older, um, was Jaws, just because um, I think it had been the first time that I was so captivated by a film and by a figure in a film which at the time seemed so real. Uh, and I remember it was it was so memorable and such a good story. Um, and I was worried about going swimming in Barbados, which is where all my family is from, <laughs> for quite a while afterwards because of that film. But that was one that I really remember and really enjoyed. And even now I've introduced my son to it now. Fantastic. Well, let's take a look at a clip from Jaws. <laughs> Next question, Karen. How about your favourite cult classic? So I am a massive Godfather fan um, and uh, love the trilogy. Uh, I have to say number three was a disappointment. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's always debate, isn't there, between which was best, number one or two. And I will have to go with number one, just because I think you see the journey of the main character going from good and trying to be outside of the family business and transitioning by the end of the film to absolutely being central to the family business. Um, you've also got some fantastic actors in it. Um, so, you know, you cannot beat Robert De Niro. I just think he was amazing. Marlon Brando, amazing. So I just think a uh, brilliant set of films, but I'd say number one is my favorite just because it, it starts to take you on that journey. Let's take a look at the original Godfather. What's the matter? What's bothering you? I'll handle it. I told you I can handle it. I'll handle it. Okay, next question. Your guilty pleasure. So I don't think my guilty pleasure is that guilty. Um, a film that I like to watch over and over again, which I don't have any problem in telling people that I'm watching it is Thelma and Louise. I just think it is a brilliant story of female friendship. It's a brilliant story of support. Um, it also talks about lack of equality, um, just based on the laws uh, at that time, probably still now, in Texas and how women are treated differently to men. Um, and also you get the introduction of Brad Pitt for the very first time, which let's face it, that, that scene was paused several times uh, and rewound. Uh, so uh, Thelma and Louise is my not so guilty pleasure. Absolutely right. And also an amazing soundtrack. Love, Re actually, love yeah, the soundtrack. Good point. Yeah, very film. good point. Yeah. Well, I'm delighted that we're now going to take a look at Brad Pitt in Thelma and Freeze Louise. Freeze frame, everyone. <laughs> I just kind of waltz on in and I say, ladies, gentlemen, let's see who wins the prize for keeping their cool. Simon says, everybody down on the floor. Now, Nobody loses their head, then nobody loses their head. Uh, you, sir. Yeah, you do the honors. Take that cash, you put in that bag right there. You got an amazing story to tell your friends. If not, well, you got a tag on your toe. You decide. So, Karen, if you're going to be stuck on this desert island, which 2018 film would you be most sad to miss at the cinema? So, I very recently, um, a couple of weeks ago, went and took my eight-year-old son to go and see Black Panther. Um, it was quite significant for him to see a film like Black Panther because that did not exist when I was growing up. And it was brilliant for him to see a film. And I asked him at the end of it, did you notice anything about the film? And he said, yeah, the suits are really cool. Uh, but then I sort of said, did you notice that the main characters, all the main characters bar two were people of colour? And he didn't notice. 
And that to me is absolutely amazing because that tells me something about where the next generation are. So I'm really looking forward to the next Avengers film. I talk a lot about Avengers and teams at work and in business should be a brilliant collection of Avengers, people with their own superhero power. So I'm looking forward to the next Avengers film where Black Panther features as well. Yes, he does. Let's take a look at Avengers Infinity War. The entire time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. To wipe out half the universe. If he gets all the Infinity Stones, he can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. Tell me his name again. Thanos. We got one advantage. He's coming to us. We have what Thanos wants, so that's what we use. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way, it might be really good. Wow. Doctor Strange. Oh, you're using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man. And that's out on 27th of April. Fantastic, I'll be seeing it. So you're cast away on this island. Mm. I, I guess there'll be a few coconuts, maybe some fish, uh, but we will also let you take with you your favorite cinema concession. Mm. So what would that be? So you can leave the popcorn behind as far as I'm concerned, all of the mixed sweets and treats, for me, it has to be a strawberry, really thick ice cream milkshake, which I take great pleasure in slurping throughout a film. So a thick strawberry ice cream milkshake for me. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, My Karen. pleasure. Thank we have you. actually got you a Pearl and Dean <laughs> strawberry milkshake here. Cheers. To take, to take yeah. away with Fantastic. you. Fantastic. <laughs> Um, and also much. a couple of tickets to oh, go and see something well. at the cinema oh, uh, so later much. on this year. Yeah. Thank you. I will go and see the new Avengers film with my son. Brilliant. Fantastic. Brilliant. Thank, you very much. Thank you so much, Karen. Thank you. And join us next time on Desert Island Flicks.